314. The different layers have different tints. Let's look at the code. In the configuration section, we've turned on the force update mode because we have problems with the subtexture update. In the top level helper functions, we've added this random integer function, giving us a random integer between zero and this bound inclusive, and then a wrapper function that skips over a value. So it gives us a random value, zero to this range, but it will skip over whatever value we put in here. So when we re-roll for a different tile size or tile value, we can not get the same thing twice in a row. And right here is the math for it. So we need to re-roll, but we want to minus one from the input range. And then if we are beneath the value we're skipping over, we're just going to output whatever we got here. Otherwise, if we are at the value we're skipping over or greater, we're going to add one to jump over the value we're skipping. Error checking our math here and then returning the value here. In the monkey wrench macros, some things to not write, and then I had a bug in these comments here. In shader 7, we finessed the tinting here. So you can pause here to look at it, but we just finessed this line here for colors that were more desirable. In the Eddy game data section, we've added this counter for how many times we've clicked or dragged, the total clicker drags. And in the editor object, we have these flags for randomizing tile size, layer, or tile value, and the amount of times we want to set a tile in a row before we re-roll for another tile size or layer or tile value. So SIR for same and row. In the click or drag function, this didn't really do much for us. And then if we are clicking or dragging, increment the count. And if we are divisible by the number of same tiles in a row, we're going to re-roll. So we have a function reference right here, and we have the object reference for our editor object. And here's where we're re-rolling for the tile size, re-roll for the layer, and re-roll for the tile value, depending on if those options are turned on in our editor object. Here's what I did previously. Here's some footnotes, and then here's what we did in this video. So if you want a longer explanation, you can go here. You have been here. You have been on video number 314. Like, subscribe.